Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. Today we're going to have a D3 video. Oh man, it's been a while. Well, I don't really play D3, but um, some of the stuff surrounding Diablo 3 is very interesting. And uh, when some event comes up that people are always raging about on the forums, and they're about to quit, and this and that, I find it very amusing, and I want to share that amusement with you guys. So pretty much what's been going down is they hotfixed, uh, I think a couple days back, uh, there is a new floor in the real money auction house when people want to sell gold. So what this means is, uh, prior to this hotfix, some people were selling gold on the real money auction house uh, for the exact floor value. And this floor value was actually slightly higher than that of which third party websites sell gold for real money. And, uh, you know, they guys are at Blizzard. Actually, a good friend, Lylira, made the post. Um, in regards to this uh, issue and mentioned that the reason they're making this change is because uh, they want to remain competitive with the third-party websites who are also selling the gold. And this really isn't exactly true. Uh, yes, they do want to remain competitive because they want to sell the shit. That's kind of how it works. You got to make the monies. But, you know, if they really wanted to be competitive, they just wouldn't have a floor at all. You know, just leave that shit alone. The reason they have a floor and the reason they keep changing it again and again and it's so amusing that people quit over this stuff because changing the floor has already happened, I don't know, like seven times already. And Diablo 3 has been out for a year and a half, so yeah, I mean, there's probably going to be some more floor drops despite, you know, valid arguments of there being somewhat of a stable price at this point in time. The reason, um, the reason they're kind of doing it step by step rather than all at once and removing the floor is because uh, they want to try to stop this inflation. So, you know, when they made Diablo 3, they just kind of got set up with a system. It's like, yeah, that'll probably work. And then it, you know, didn't really end up working that well, largely because their model uh, didn't include uh, their predictions about how many bots will be playing the game, in my opinion, at least. And two, uh, I think they anticipated more people will continue playing it, and I'll explain that in a second. So what they're doing is they're trying to artificially stall inflation by lowering the cap again and again, which is pretty much like the final strategy, their final card that they have to play. So that's what's been going on, and you know, don't be surprised when um, you know it falls another level and they have to drop the floor again. But you know, that'll probably happen when the third-party websites start selling the gold under the new floor for quite some time and then they'll you know drop it again so some typical shit there but pretty much the reason this is all happening and what's making it really interesting at least for me from you know an outside perspective of the game is that you know when when someone quits the game uh, because they know that the gold is going to lose value if they're going to play again at a later point in time they're pretty much forced into selling their gold so I didn't do this when I stopped playing uh, Diablo 3. I stopped playing Diablo 3 like 100 million gold, which uh, I think at the time was actually 250 bucks. And these days, uh, 100 million gold, I believe, is like three bucks. So, you know, pretty big difference there. And, uh, you know, people realize this and people who quit, if they're smart enough, and I would suspect a uh, large portion of them probably are because you know, they'll play the auction house for quite some time if they're still playing Diablo 3, they're going to sell their gold. And what this creates is a, a high supply of gold. And this is extended on top of the already, you know, filling supply that's given by bots. So Diablo 3 has a lot of bots. That should be no surprise to anyone still playing the game. And the, um, the inflation, you know, reduction systems that are in place in Diablo 3 with the auction house cuts and with the... Um, and the crafting system and the repair costs and all that stuff, pretty much that's all closely trumped by the number of bots out there who are just picking up the gold off the ground. And, um, you know, this is pretty close to evident because the gold price has been stable from what I've been told for, you know, a little bit of time now. But, you know, when people, you know, leave the game, it does sometimes introduce a very large quantity of gold. And as a result, supply goes up, demand honestly goes down because if someone stops playing the game, you know, they're not going to look at buying gold anymore. They're just selling it. So demand drops, supply increases, the price drops. And that's pretty much what's going on there. And uh, it's really going to take a big event for the price to go back up. And uh, I think 
what they're trying to do here is they're trying to maybe put in this floor, maybe put in another floor, and uh, maybe we'll see some expansion action in Diablo 3. And I think when that happens, because the um, demand is going to absolutely, you know, skyrocket, then we're going to see some, uh, you know, some things turn around, and maybe then we'll uh, talk about that and have some more fun. But until then, pretty amusing shit. Hope you guys like it as much as I have, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.